Welcome to Morning Devotions. It's always good to have you with us. And we continue. We have two more um, devotions on God's temple. And then next week, we will uh, move to the Psalms Monday through Wednesday. And I believe Pastor Erickson is going to continue working with 2 Corinthians on Thursday and Friday. And we're going to be talking, we're moving back to Paul's letters and a very important letter when it comes to understanding God's temple as the people of God and specifically um, how, what that means for us as individuals in that temple. And I have a question. What do you really enjoy doing? What is it that lights your fire, that just gives you complete joy? What kind of work or voc vocation? What are your gifts? It, it, they could be all sorts of things. For me, it's teaching. I love to teach. I love doing these morning devotions. I love teaching Bible study on Wednesday morning and seeing people wrestle with uh, scripture and to deepen their faith and to see lights come on and a certain scripture passage that gives me untold joy. What is it for you? Think about that as we read this next text. It might be hospitality, entertaining people. It might be servanthood. It, it, it can be any number of things. What do you really enjoy doing? Well, let's open the Bible. We're going to the second chapter of Ephesians, starting at the 18th verse. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people, and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostle and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him, the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling place in which God lives by his spirit. two things here I want to point out. First, what it means that we are the temple of God. The first thing is, is that we are firmly anchored in our relationship with Jesus through studying his God's, God's word. That's, you know, in one sense, Paul is talking, even though Old and New Testaments were not concepts in Paul's mind, he's talking about the Old and New Testament built on the foundation of the prophets, the Old Testament, and the apostles, the New Testament. But both of those testaments point to Jesus as the cornerstone, our relationship. What's one of the things it means to be part of God's temple? That we're firmly anchored in the solid teaching of Scripture that deepens and broadens our relationship with Jesus. But the second thing is that God lives in us by his spirit, and that God wants to use us as citizens, as members of his household, to proclaim and reflect his love. How do we do that? Well, you know, every building has all sorts of different parts to it. There are the big beams that... Uh, hold the building together. There's the, the, the bricks or the stones that make up the building. There are the doorways and the, and the trim that goes around there and the doors. There's the, you know, all the different things that are the finishing touches, whether it's a carpet or wood floors or the, or the walls themselves or the trim and paneling. And I, I could go on and on. It's the same with God's temple and the people who make up it, make up, make it up. It's the people are each different and unique in a different part of the temple. And God wants to use our gifts. And my conjecture, why I asked you that question at the beginning, is my conjecture is that those things you really enjoy, that you just feel at tune with creation and with the universe are gifts from God to be used 
as part of his temple. Whether that's hospitality or servanthood or a musical gift or teaching, whatever it is, God wants you to use that gift to build his temple, to proclaim his love, to be a place where his spirit dwells. And that brings me to our final question. How can you use your gifts and passions to be a part of God's temple, both today and in the future? Think about that as we pray. Lord God, we thank you that you do gift us and that you have brought us together as individuals to be a part of your household, a part of your kingdom, a part of your temple. Help us to use them for you. Help us to get to know you through the pages of Scripture so that we might proclaim you in our own unique way as a part of your temple. May your spirit dwell richly in us today. We pray all this in your precious son's name, the cornerstone, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, stay hope-filled, be strong, and God bless.